Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle and a lot of you have asked So I decided that uh, I would comply and attempt to do doubles Now before I get into that, I just want to say um, if you guys didn't know I am on an esports team uh, I'm a streamer for Temple Storm um, And they are having a little promotion with uh, Lucid Sound and basically it's 25% off head uh, headsets with uh, the code Temple So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to help them out uh, or check it out. I actually personally use their headsets and they're pretty solid. So, I, I mean, I love them. Uh, shout out to Temple, of course, for sending me a set too. But if you guys want to check them out, link is down below. I'm not being paid or anything. I mean, if I was being paid, I'll let you know. But I I'm, I just want to help on my team. And also, I do like their products. So, I'm assuming that with the doubles, I can do Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu ladder and get away with it. I'm not entirely sure just yet. Uh, but ideally I can find a game Ideally I can find a game Now uh, Hopefully I'll, I'll, I don't even know how this works But I'm gonna pause until hopefully we find something We'll be right back Okay so I found an opponent uh, I'm gonna play them Like I don't, I don't care who they have I don't care what they I don't care who they have I don't care what they have I don't care who they are I'm gonna play them um, So I'll explain the team uh, I have Protect Shell Smash on Amistar, Protect Rock Slide on Mega Aerodactyl, pair with Gyarados, Gyarados can Earthquake, and obviously Aerodactyl uh, avoids that too. Zapdos says Protect Toxic, I have Helping Hand on my Tauros as well, which I think would be really nice for like, either Rock Slide or, um, ooh, rock, speaking of Rock Slide, Rock Slide is really good in this. In fact, I love uh, the combination of Gyarados plus Aerodactyl. Huh. Boom is going to be really nice too, a helping hand. I feel like Tauros is going to... I mean, this thing is going to destroy something. Hmm. I do think that Aerodactyl plus Gyarados is a, is a fine lead. Um, it looks to deal with almost everything, if not everything. Just because Aerodactyl honestly just clicks Earthquake versus everything. I haven't played uh, much doubles in a long time. I did play VGC for a bit. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's always been fun for me. This is probably gonna be a shorter video too. Sorry, it's up so late, but it did take me a little while to find an opponent. But if you guys do like this, let me know. Like, please let me know. Please let me know. Because if you do, I'll do this on top of doing singles. I'll do like, I'll go back and forth. So this is probably the best lead possible for me. Now, reason for that is my uh, Gyarados outspeeds Kabutops and, um, and so does my Aerodactyl, so I can Mega Evolve and click Earthquake, and click Earthquake with both. Uh, this is Jolly Gyarados. I could even go for Sub, but I don't see a reason to not go for Earthquake with both. Um, if you guys didn't know, basically, uh, Earth in doubles, moves are weakened, right? So Earthquake isn't 100 base power, it's, I think it's, how does it work? Is it, is it, is it like 75% of the power or something like that? It's something like that. Like, it's, it's not as strong as it could be, but the reason I like Mega Aerodactyl in this as well over Mega Gyarados is because my opponent does have a Jolteon in the back. But yeah, Double Earthquake should easily be able to knock out everything. I'm pretty sure Kabutops is going to fall. Uh, they go for Aqua Jet, which isn't going to do much to my Aerodactyl at all. Yep, Mega Aerodactyl. If I was a regular Aerodactyl, I'd do a ton more. But as you can see, I like these two paired together because my opponent can avoid them. Uh oh, that Marowak might actually live this next Earthquake. Hold up. But at worst, all it does is, what, get up rocks or... Ah, nice, nice, the WQ did it. Hey, at worst, all it does is uh, let him burn me. Because Shadow Bone doesn't exist in this game. Shadow Bone doesn't exist in this game. So at worst, it would have maybe like Rock Slide or, or, or Stone Edge or anything. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. We're doing really well. We're doing pretty well. I mean, we got the double KO that I wanted. This is why I thought these guys were just so good. So, this is where it gets interesting because... Jolteon can obviously knock out my Gyarados. Huh. I think I'm gonna go Tauros. And try and just go for like a Hail Mary, Helping Hand, Self Destruct. I mean, excuse me, uh, Taurus with that, but then also Snorlax with this. Because Snorlax should be able to take any one hit from everything. And Helping Hand just boosting Self Destruct because I don't deal with Mew very well. I can Toxic it with Zapdos, but that's about it. Uh, I want to save my Aerodactyl as well because it has just the fastest speed tier versus my opponent. I love Tauros.
But yeah, Thunder. Okay, I can respect Thunder on it. It actually gets the KO on Aerodactyl. It's funny because I was thinking about clicking Fly. And Fly would have... Uh, I still get hit by, by Thunder if I go for Fly. Ooh, and they went for Will-O-Wisp on my Snorlax. But I think that's fine either way because this powers up my facade. And I'm going to power up even more with uh, Helping Hand. And Mew is the one I'm more worried about than Jolteon. Jolteon I have Aerodactyl for. So I'm going to go for Priority Helping Hand. Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm paralyzed. It's Priority. And helping hand my Snorlax, and I'm gonna go for Facade versus Mew. This should do a good chunk. I want to say around 80% almost. It should do around 80%. What you got for me, buddy? And then I have no switchings as well, because I got rid of both Kabutops and Marowak, so I don't think anything can switch into this. And my opponent might think they're safe because they burnt me. Because even a regular Facade, um, you could take. Ideally, I do not get fully paralyzed as I go for the, you know, priority helping hand. I just boost the strength of it. I'm gonna look up how much uh, it gets weakened. How much do spread moves get weakened by in double battles? Because I always forget. They will be decreased to 75% of their power. Yes. So it'd be 75 instead. Uh, I don't really care about that comp mine. That's not gonna allow him to break through my Snorlax at all. It's definitely not, and I do have Aerodactyl, which is faster. Yup. I think they went for Thunder and Mist, too. Look how much that did. That is insane. Like, you see how much that did. So I'm gonna go for another one, uh, because they did Mist, and Helping Hand can stack, so it's not a big deal. Um, and we'll just go for... Well, we'll attack that Mew, because if Mew wants to go for Soft World, it's just, it will definitely still die. Look at that. I did 90%, not even 80%. I was, I was, uh, I was definitely underestimating Snorlax's strength. I was definitely underestimating Snorlax's strength. Big Lax. His strength ain't no facade, man. That strength is real. I was, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I put it upon there. That kind of whack. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Yo. I, if you guys haven't start, or listened to my podcast, it's just a pilot episode, but I can't wait till we do like more because I, th I was just thinking about some uh, topics we're going to do. And I, had, I actually managed to break through, which is amazing. This boy Tauros is a team player. Thunder, unfortunately, I do miss. Uh, the thing is, Thunder into Psychic would not have knocked out Tor uh, Snorlax ever, even if they both crit, I think. And I'm able to get rid of Mew. Like I said, in my opinion, that was the uh, the bigger threat. It was definitely the biggest threat. However, if they do bring out Rapidash next, I'm surprised they're just not caring about my Tauros. I guess because it's paralyzed, it's a lot less of a threat. If they do bring out Rapidash next, I might go for the uh, the Helping Hand Self-Destruct just to get off damage on both. Because basically at this point, Aerodactyl is going to outspeed and deal with uh, Jolteon either way. Um, ooh, big lax. And even though Self-Destruct is, is not like... It's not going to be the best. It's not going to be that strong because it's going to be weakened. i still rather get off damage on Jolteon for a spread move Earthquake. Because obviously in a, in a 1v1 situation, Mega Aerodactyl will always knock out Jolteon. But when it's 75 base power, it's weakened. A little bit of chip damage will be the difference between me actually knocking out Jolteon. And of course, if you do end up liking this, I will make the videos long, right? Uh, or like longer. I'm going to do two to three battles. Maybe two. Depending on how long it takes. Ooh, look, look at my Tauros not being paralyzed. Tauros is really being a team player. Oh, finally hits a thunder. Uh, I don't know if regular facade from Snorlax is going to knock me out. They do win a speed tie there, though. I live on one. I live on one. And look at that. That is that is boosted. That is more than enough. Because that is just the damage that I needed on the... Uh... That is definitely the damage that I needed on Jolteon to knock it out with Earthquake. So, now... I could safely bring out my Amistar. Left. And the reason I say safely bring out Amistar is because um, I can Shell Smash, I believe, uh, and probably win. I'm going to go for Rock Slide plus Shell Smash over Earthquake. It does risk missing on Jolteon. However, my opponent could also miss Thunder, as they've seen that's their only thing. And uh, by me Shell Smashing here, it means, and if, because what I'm thinking is if I go for Spread Move Earthquake from Aerodactyl, I think the spread move earthquake plus a potential earthquake from Snorlax will knock me out. But however, if I shell smash, um, I should be good to win. Because then I just go for surf. And it wins. Amistar is actually slower than uh, 
Mega Aerodactyl, but I can at least show off like Protect and that combination. I do miss the Jolteon. Oh no! But they have to decide what do they want to knock out. And they might actually go for Aerodactyl. Come on. Go for Aerodactyl. Nice. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I still get my Shell Smash up, and I'll definitely be faster than Jolteon. So I'm okay with that. And I won't be able to die to Earthquake. And if they go for Earthquake, they're going to knock out their own Jolteon anyway. So I'm alright with this. As they go for Facade again. Yeah, I'm fine with this. And so now, uh, if you guys didn't know, Surf actually hits you and uh, the people against you, obviously. But um, at this point, I bring out Gyarados. I can go for Substitute to... Actually, I don't even have to go for Substitute. I can just Waterfall the uh, the Snorlax. Because I don't think Surf is... Spider Move Surf is going to knock it out. So I'm going to Waterfall that Snorlax. And I'm going to go for Surf with my uh, Amastar. The better play was actually that turn to, uh, to Earthquake plus Protect. Um, cause that was a guaranteed, but I wanted to try and shell smash anyway. But yeah, with my Amistar being faster than Jolteon and Snorlax, I'll be able to knock out Jolteon. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about it in the slightest. Cause even my Zapdos would be the 1v1. And I have all these water types left and my opponent's last mod is that Rapidash, so... I'm not, I'm not very... What? Am I modest Amistar? Oh my god, I'm modest. No! But they attacked the wrong Pokemon. Ah, I'm modest. I'm not timid. Wrong Amistar. I missed. I, I, uh, I almost messed up here. Oof. Check your sets, guys. Ooh, but Spread Move Surf is going to be enough to knock out both of them anyway. Look at Amistar stealing the show. I mean, I'm definitely going to be faster than their... Uh, I'm definitely going to be faster than their... Um, the Rapidash anyway, which is their last. I knew Amistar could win this, but it's fine. The reason Protect is so good because typically your opponents will also have Protect, so you can either burn out turns or uh, save Pokemon. Look what Missing Rock Slide did. Jolteon almost became a problem. I'll just Protect here. Uh, just to guarantee I'm at full uh, in case I don't understand speed tiers even more than I already am messing them up and I'm not able to knock out the Rapidash. <laughs> but I definitely should always be able to outspeed it and I'll 100% knock it out with Surf. I just don't want my Zapdos to take any damage. I'm a good trainer. Okay, I'm a good trainer. There we go. Yep, Big Zapdos is protected from the Surf. And I go right for that. And Rapidash is going to go down. That should be a good game. Nice. So that was a really, you know, fast one. Uh, and as I mentioned, I just want to make the... This is kind of the test run for this. So let me know if you do like something like doubles. Um, if you do, I'll obviously do it more. Uh, alongside singles of course and uh yeah the the idea behind the team i just really put protect on pokemon i wanted to put helping hand on tauros because it was something that could actually help out aerodactyl in a sense whereas i could just helping hand plus rock slide or anything like that or helping hand plus anything from gyarados but that was fun hope you guys all enjoyed like i said if you guys want to check out lucid sound the uh the link to it will be down below in the description thank you for watching i'll see you guys goodbye my friends